game. So, yeah, uh, uh, you can you can talk. Uh, Jackie said that, that uh, there's some uh, some kind of a music. Yeah, it's from Multa Liga. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what you can say? Can you smanity musico? <laughs> yeah, we can. <laughs> yeah, we smanity musico now. Okay, it's weird music. Well, you know, it's a Lucha Liga. If it's in Serbian Liga, we would uh, listen maybe Tsetsa or Naraba Bamara, but uh, at this moment we're, we're going to listen this. <laughs> yeah, right now so, we're going to listen see. to this. We see that uh, they banned uh, Draven, Kalista, Azir because of the Sebex. Sebex uh, done an amazing job on middle with uh, that uh, Azir. Uh, on our side, we see that uh, Seraphim, Korki and Gnar are banned. Lucian is dedicated in the enemy team, I mean in Forsaken, and we're going to see Nami on yeah. Boitush and Ryu, what you gonna pick? I think Nami is a really good pick uh, to counter that Lucian because we saw Lucian Nami, one of the broken, most broken uh, like combos. Uh, combos yeah. Yeah. Wombo combo. Wombo combo. W and E, that's it. With Electrocute, one shot. Yeah. Also, we see Rizaki uh, securing that Wukong, which is, as we saw, like uh, almost 50% pick rate uh, overall throughout the whole league, uh, Ultra Liga. So. It's uh, one of the most highly contested uh, picks. Uh, they are responding with uh, Yumi. Yeah. That is uh, interesting. Well, Yumi and Lucian, hmm. they have escape. I mean, I mean, nobody's gonna catch that Lucian with Yumi with that movement speed and everything and healing, uh, especially also uh, Yumi. We have a slow and stun from ult, so it's gonna be. A tough. Uh, yeah, Wally Bear as well locked in. I'm not sure yeah. if it's gonna be on Leku or Diago in jungle, but uh, Wally into Wukong is a pretty decent pick. Uh, of course, uh, Wukong outscales and even early is a lot stronger in terms of um, in terms of gank potential, but like th the damage output is just huge. Yeah. I'm not sure. What do you think? Does Wally have a faster jungle clear than uh, Wukong? Well, to be honest, with uh, Wukong's uh, uh, W, hmm. but of course, uh, in the early start, uh, Wally can easily uh, clean jungle with his E uh, that deals uh, uh, AP damage. So uh, in early phase, I think uh, Wally is going to be a faster than Wukong. But uh, we know Ryu. Ryu is really fast jungler, clearing yeah. every single camp, uh, trying to gank any single lane uh, in any opportunity. So uh, maybe he's gonna play on uh, mistake on Volibear. Uh, so we're gonna see some early ganks uh, from Ryu, uh, like we've seen before on top. So um, the thing is, we have to see what's what's gonna be played from a Mumu's side on top. Uh, if if he's gonna play something tanky, maybe Ryu is gonna more focus on uh, the bottom and uh, middle. But at this moment, we don't, we still don't don't see that. Um, I, I I would love to see a gambling. I don't know why, Hebe, but uh, like, uh, gambling is uh, god tier at this moment on the top. Uh, yeah. Playing with with full critical build, you can one shot easy whole team. Uh, especially uh, okay, not Volibear. You you can't uh, one shot Volibear. I mean, yeah. With uh, with items and uh, level up scaling and everything, uh, he's just like a super tank. Even uh, having no tank build, uh, he can tank lots of damage. So okay, we see Gn uh, Orn. Orn pick. Sorry, I think yeah. Orn is a is a good like meta safe pick. Also, it's uh, the 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 champion that Momus was most uh, comfortable on, like playing that uh, uh, solo island on top lane and. Going for the tank and you know like just scaling out and playing safe, uh, yeah. weak side, and uh, it also leaves uh, leaves us an option to totally counter pick the mid lane. For so Sebex didn't pick yet unless he's gonna go Nami mid or Wukong mid, or Orn mid. Uh, we're gonna see a total like a counter pick here uh, against Warshi and then uh, Varsi, however you pronounce his name. And uh, I think that's a really good play for us because it's uh, it's better to put Mumus on a weak side pick and uh, put Sebex to counter it. And yeah, we can see Forsaken here going for the Camille Galio pick as well. They have a yeah. huge dive potential now. Just imagine that Yumi sticking on a Volibear or Camille or Ga Galio. Uh, Volibear ulting, disabling the tower. Camille jumping in with a Galio ult, locking someone. It's going to be really, really tough for us. 
Yeah, it's going to be a hard game. But uh, having Syndrome middle, uh, that can easily push them uh, when they gank, it's going to be... It's really, it's really smart, uh, a smart choice of uh, yeah. getting her. I've talked to Naho and I've talked to the players as well a bit. Like The most highly contested picks right now are like Azir, Corki, Syndra, and... Uh, I think that's about it from... Uh, yeah, and also Victor. Uh, regarding mages on mid. And uh, yeah, we, we've we seen... We've seen Sebex uh, in solo queue, also in, in Screams, uh, do uh, magical work with with Syndra. And uh, there we go. Syndra is one of the best counter picks for Galio. She can always disengage both her and, uh, for example, Camille or uh, Volibear that are going in. Uh, also, if you look at Lucian as well, he's uh, easily... Uh, one second... He is an uh, easily kiteable champion. Okay, not that one. like this yeah so uh lucian is the, the the kind of champion that always chases you around so uh with with a syndra you can always just like uh, disengage and uh, qe him uh, away if he goes for a ulti you know um chase with yumi and stuff you agree yeah yeah yumi and volibear is going to be a really tough uh, uh combo uh volibear is going to be um He's gonna have a god speed, so he can easily get to the gate and be also with the, with his ult. So um, Abyss is gonna be smashed uh, from, from Volibear, that, that's for sure. Uh, but we have uh, Orn in team, so I think if, if uh, Mumush uh, tried to somehow to defend uh, AD carry and uh, Sebex, um, I think every single fight is uh, winnable, for sure. He, he just have to uh, try some way out how to move that Volibear uh, from uh, AD carry so Caitlyn can uh, smash them with, uh, with her range attacks. Uh, so, yeah, if we. I think Camille is gonna be I don't the think second so. she's, toughest. She's really good into Orn because she can jump on his pillars that he makes. She can also, like, yeah. um, she melts tanks late, mid to late game. Uh, yeah. She's also very mobile, but it's really hard to execute because. Uh, in a way, even though she's strong into uh, into Orn, Orn is the type of champion that can also like CC you and cancel your your uh, hook shot, hook hook jumps, and she can Orn can really pick you on lane, uh, make a really good setups for your jungler. So it's it's a lot about uh, the execution between between uh, uh, Wukong and Ryu and Mumush against uh, Leku and Forsaken's jungler. Do you see the odds on your screen? Uh, yes, uh, we see that 77% is on zero tenacity and 43 on per second. <laughs> to be honest, I think it's more like 90% to Z10 and 10% to per second. But okay, we are not gonna be subjective. We are gonna yeah. be more objective today. So, I mean, the odds are all totally okay. Uh, now we, we just have to see uh, and hope the, the game is not gonna be based on the luck only, like it was uh, against Agorog. So hopefully today team with more skill and uh, more patient is gonna win, uh, win this game. Yeah. So yeah, we're jumping into the game any minute now, any second now. Uh, and uh, can, uh, can you tell me, Hebi, uh, what you think about uh, having Yumi and Jin on the bottom instead of the Lucian? Yumi and Jin. Yes. So, uh, I think uh, Yumi is pretty good with Jin. She gives a movement speed. She can make that uh, Q poke into W root. So it's a, it's a fair combo. Also, Jin is more like a, like a kiting oriented champion. So Yumi can always ult to disengage. And yeah, I think it's, it's a pretty good odd though. Jin is more focused on range. He doesn't go that melee much. So. Yumi has to go with those uh, a bit more passive summoners like Heal Exhaust instead of Heal Ignite or oh, Exhaust Ignite or some, something like that. But yeah, yeah. Uh, we jump into the game. We've seen a Yumi throw a deep bot bush ward, which is going to give them info in case we go for that cheese on bot lane. Uh, she also recalled got the sweeper. Uh, some of the like most common playstyles of uh, supports nowadays, uh, 
ward, recall into sweeper, it resets the cooldown, you have the cooldown ready for for lane. It also gives you lane dominance first three minutes because you can sweep uh, vision and your jungler can gank. But uh, as we can see, Volibear is starting on red side, uh, I mean red buff side, so it's more looking like like he's gonna path towards top and go for the the level three on top. We go with the with the with the deep vision on in both their top and bot jungle. So we're gonna have info on where Wallybear is. Yeah, knowing where is he, uh, we will know. Is he gonna try to do something? Maybe he is uh, going for the first uh, kill on the top, but. Uh, having now vision on the blue, it's gonna be easy just to uh, counter gank that or just move back to the tower and not get killed. Uh, we see that uh, Yumi got some poke uh, on the bottom, uh, trying to deal some uh, damage to VZZ, but VZZ is really passive now, getting some damage on Lucian Ooh. and Yumi both, and we see that they're on the health HP at this point. Uh, Pretty still, decent uh, trade from, from, from Zero Tenacity. Like, uh, did what? Yumi start with Q? Uh, yes. Yeah, so she started with Q. She doesn't have the sustain needed to survive that kind of poke. Uh, and let's be honest, like, Yumi Q level 1 is decent damage, but uh, it's not it's not, uh, it's not not that much. So I think she got overconfident a bit there. Look at this. They're legit taking free poke for no reason whatsoever. And uh, is not close, so they're not yeah. waiting for anything, but still getting some damage. And even if he gets uh, on the bottom trying to gank something, uh, we have a Ryu um, uh, in the bottom jungle, so he can uh, easily counter, counter gank that and get the first blood. Interesting rotation from Volibear. He did full clear. Uh, he actually did, yeah, he did full clear into top, and now he rotated it through. through yeah, this might get messy real fast. Yeah, having no vision on the bottom is gonna be the yeah. easy first blood. Vizi trying to escape. Uh, Voitush accidentally die on the bottom. Uh, Ryu is uh, near, but he's not gonna try anything because he knows that he uh, on the level three he don't have a chance against that Volibear who is uh, fully HP. Yeah, I mean this is a very powerful execution from Forsaken side because uh, they legit knew what they're doing. They executed it perfectly. Uh, they went uh, red raptors, uh, blue krug into rotating from one side of the map towards bot lane. Uh, they knew that they knew that uh, giving fake info that uh, they, he's rotating towards top lane going for the uh, strong top side is gonna affect uh, Zero Tenacity's decisions. And yeah, also his rotations. He could have been spotted by the ward on the raptors, but he went through the blasting cone behind, like, all the way around, so beautiful execution by him. I don't think... What do you think? Is it gonna affect us a lot, or you think we're gonna just shrug it off and continue? They're gonna try... Uh, they're gonna find a way out uh, from this. I mean, it's only just uh, one kill, and the kill is on uh, Voitush, so it's not on VZZ. Yeah. So, so I still think that this is gonna smash them at this point. Uh, in a way, was... in a way, uh, Yumi, uh, Yumi kind of burned her summoners. I mean, exhaust and ignite are like uh, three minute plus uh, plus minus like uh, summoner cooldowns, but um, we have it all. Cleanse is gonna come up as soon as exhaust comes up, and uh, we have two both flashes and we have ignite ready. So. If it comes to lane dominance 2v2, we're gonna win for sure. Like, uh, VZZ is leading 7CS. Uh, we're making a hard push that's gonna crash into the tower again. Maybe we're gonna move move for Drake after that. On the other hand, uh, Forsaken looks like they're... Looks like they're a bit confused. Yeah. Uh, also, they drop uh, Flash, Exhaust, Ignite on support. Yeah. So maybe that was not so much worth it. I mean, the, the kill was secured anyhow, but... Uh, Given that flash uh, after that ignite was just a uh, dumb idea, but it's okay. Uh, Bolivar at this point uh, he has no flash. Uh, Ryu is uh, on the bottom, knowing there is a there is a ward. Uh, yeah. Bolivar, Bolivar is coming, so we're gonna see maybe there's gonna be some kill. Ryu is going back at this point. Bolivar is still uh, sitting in, in the bush. They're just Boy, gonna move back. Pick here, but I don't think so. Bolivar doesn't have his flash up. 
I think this was kind of a sloppy execution from our side. Look at it, still going for it. Uh, like, they need to realize that, like, uh, they keep throwing these uh, lane bush uh, vision because they're expecting lane ganks. And look, they have no vision in their tri bush. They have no vision in the in the river. So. Yeah, I mean, uh, the, we did sweep that one ward, but again, he gets we, Ryu gets spotted on the second ward in the second bush, and at least he he lowered the danger of uh, them trying to to kill Nami, because when Wallybear showed up, Wukong was already there. He scared them off. So yeah. Uh, Wallybear now is uh, on red. You're gonna see maybe, uh, maybe uh, they're gonna try to take uh, some trick. Uh, Ryu is close, uh, pinging on Drake, so maybe they're gonna do something. They have set up on the bottom for Drake, so at this point they can easily get the first Drake uh, for uh, zero tenacity. But Volibear is always somewhere near, uh, knowing that maybe they're, they're gonna try to do something and, of course, try to steal that from them. Uh, he's close uh, to the middle, uh, doing camp, and maybe he's gonna try something to do on Syndra, but uh, at this point Syndra can just push him back and he won't be able to that much is the gank yeah yes but again on the bottom camping yeah. <laughs> maybe we need uh, uh, some bed for him i think on we're the gonna <laughs> spot him now let's see oh that's uh okay that's a hard Voitush execution again from Voitush. yeah he gets picked again as you spoke before that uh, bolivar is just gonna yeah break the turret and that's it uh that is just at this point as we say in solo queue jungle dead well, yes, yeah, <laughs> yes. Um, he's like, really doing everything he could on that bottom. We'll try to give uh, his AD carry as much kills as possible, so, so he's gonna be in lead at this point, uh, getting kill uh, on Voitush, trying to get the kill, and Volibear is getting that. Yeah, moving back in the jungle and going to the Herald. I mean, the problem with this uh, our, our rotation on the Herald is pretty good here. We need to execute it faster though. Um, but, yeah, look at that, they still keep going for the, for the Voitush pick, which is really heavy for us, but Ryuzaki is popping off with that uh, Wukong pick. Mm, I think the execution here was fair enough, uh, we scrambled with what we had, they hard engaged on us instead of us hard engaging on them, Camille was moving into us for free, she was legit like, uh, a safe pick there. We could have uh, collapsed on her, but we were too focused on Harold, and that that left them an opening for Camille to just jump in, do her full combo, and get a, a hard engage on Galio into us. Luckily, we didn't. Uh, Volibear didn't have his ult up, and he didn't have his flash up. Otherwise, I think they could have gotten more kills here. Wukong got those two kills, which is gonna set him really ahead. But um, so far, Forsaken is really showing. Their claws and thief. Yeah, they, they, they practice. I mean, we can see that they practice a lot, and knowing what what they have to do. Um, they they're having like a solo pick uh, champions, but their look at their is, vision. Their vision yeah. is perfect. Pixel bush and top river, uh, top bush uh, entry from mid lane. Also vision. We, they can legit see where Sebex is moving and and showing. On bot lane, we also saw perfect vision through through lane, denying Vulcan gangs. So yeah, we're really like um, lacking the vision control here. I think our vision is kind of put at at some useless points because they're not even rotating through them. And uh, yeah, but uh, I think that it's it's not that grim. Like yeah, Volibear is uh, uh, he built his mythic item. He has the camp punk, camp tech. Uh, but Wukong is, has his mythic item as well, like Divine Thunder just around the corner. So I think like CS wise, Syndra is doing fine. She's gonna get that loot in soon and with a stopwatch next team fight is gonna be really huge for us. Caitlyn, she needs to finish her, what do you think, is she gonna go for Kraken here or Gale, Gale Force? Uh, I think the Kraken would be the, the perfect uh, choice. Uh, having uh, Camille in enemy team and Volibear as well, uh, Kraken would be perfect to melt them down, but also uh, she needs uh, something for movement, so Gale Force is like 
it's 50-50. Uh, having Kraken, uh, there, uh, she's gonna melt. I mean, BZ is gonna melt. Uh, having Gale, she's gonna have just a little bit uh, more confidence on yeah, uh, mobility, picking, uh, yeah. dealing more damage. And of course, as you said, uh, mobility and everything. They just have to play passive now, get some CS like uh, Sevex is doing. Um, I, I really admire Sevex's uh, yeah. uh, mid lane uh, control. He's always like, uh, I will get most of uh, CS as, as I can. Like I'm playing on 300 CS, uh, I will get the full build uh, as soon as possible and, uh, and I'm gonna just uh, try to help my team. Uh, so he's not peeking, not roaming, not doing anything uh, from that side. He's just uh, getting CS's, getting items and after that he's melting people in uh, team fights. Yeah, I mean, uh, we can see that our tempo and control is really off right now. Mm -hmm. uh, they got the Herald previously, now they're getting the first tower with uh, full 5 plates on top lane. Uh, we're not even trading it for Drake, so yeah, we started off Drake now. Mm, they keep pushing top, they might even go for tier 2. Th that's for sure. Uh, they're gonna melt it down, uh, nobody is close. Uh, Galio is coming there, so maybe we're gonna see a kill on the Mumush. Uh, yeah. They have like uh, everything set up for him. That TP uh, was so late. Well, yeah, it was really late. He's supposed to do it at least 10 seconds earlier. So Mumush yeah. is going down uh, for sure. He's you not can, gonna. You can see the lack of communication here. This is some of the key points that uh, Mumush is. Uh, I'm not sure if it's his uh, on, on his uh, his call, but he did this a few times earlier where he. He probably forced an engage there, and then uh, uh, Sebex followed it through, but it was a bit, a bit too late. So yeah, right now Z10 is really collapsing, and you can see that they're 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 trying to find their tempo. They're trying to find to make uh, Forsaken player the play their own like zero tenacity's game, but it's not working out for us so far. Uh, Forsaken is really really controlling the game right now. Yeah, at this point, uh, as we said before, they, um, they picked uh, some solo queue champions, but they are playing like team. They're yeah. truly playing. Um, I think maybe I'm not right, so I'm gonna ask you, maybe there is a lack of confidence because of the game from uh, yesterday. What do you think about that, Kevin? I mean, it for sure affected them, like uh, going strong versus, uh, I think it didn't affect it in a way that you think, like uh, in a way that you're like, Oh, they lost yesterday's game, so now they're underperforming. Uh, usually, that's not something that happens with with teams. Uh, losing actually boosts your confidence, because then you you don't have anything to lose. You're more oriented towards, uh, oh, I'm gonna, uh, I don't have anything to lose now. I'm even gonna more play more cocky. I'm gonna play more, um, like I'm gonna risk more. I'm gonna limit test more. So they get the they get in a comfort zone where, where they don't care so much about winning or losing because they've lost already. But I think the problem is uh, one thing that usually pro players have a lot is like they play against a really uh, strong team and they try hard. And then when they're playing versus uh, let's say 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th seed, 10th seed, doesn't matter. Uh, they don't try hard as much because they don't care. Like this team is like mediocre, mid tier, low tier. so. The execution against them doesn't matter that much. They don't put as much as effort. They don't play as, as cautious as they usually should. And yeah, that's the biggest problem in my opinion. But look at the Sabex damage. Uh, like yeah, that, that's unreal. That was a kill for for Ryuzaki if he went in with a Nami with Nami buff. But yeah, with Nami buffs and ult, they cou they couldn't do anything. As you can see, Camilla's on the top, maybe going for the. Uh, third tier uh, tower, but at this moment he is dealing some damage to the Mumush, as we can see. Uh, she have really po powerful Q with true damage, so yeah. she, she can easily uh, melt, melt him down if he make just a little mistake. So Galio is uh, still farming on the middle, uh, but yet uh, he don't have uh, even close uh, CSs to uh, Sebex. We know that Sebex is going for 300 uh, CSs, and after that he is going to be unstoppable. Uh, if uh, the whole team communicate uh, communicated better, uh, they're gonna have uh, the second uh, herald at this point. Uh, we don't have a vision on the uh, herald. I mean, 
Zitan probably know that they, uh, they are over there, but they are not going to risk anything and lose more towers. So at this point, they're going to just group on the middle, uh, get that uh, CSS uh, and try no, try to somehow uh, build the defense against that Herald. Yeah. Uh, Item-wise, uh, look at Galio. Like Galio is sitting on that Predator CDR boots. Uh, for the for the for the smaller cooldown on the flash engage, he has the uh, what do you call that item? It's not glacial. Ah, we can call it glacial. He has the glacial item and uh, everfrost. Thank you, Uchko. And uh, so he's more oriented towards going in either frontlining or just going in and. Uh, mid late execution and picking off CCing uh, for Camille and Volibear. They are uh, rotating towards mid, they really want to get this mid tower and open the map a lot more. Uh, yeah. At this point they are in 3.5k uh, uh, gold lead, so yeah, you just, see? Uh, easily push and uh, that's it. Uh, BC is rooted here dealing damage. Yeah. Uh, on Galio, but at this moment he's ju they, they're just gonna move back and that's it. You could say that was a bit of a lack of uh, communication from Forsaken side because Galio went for a pick, he made the pick. Uh, they could have maybe... It was a free kill. Yeah, it, they could have maybe executed. I mean, VZZ has both flash and cleanse up, but still like... Uh, look at this. Yeah, the poke at this moment is unreal. Uh, Sebex is uh, building his defense in the jungle, trying to deal some damage. Uh, we see that they are going for the Drake. This is beautiful. Or yeah, yeah Ornis. With nice. a beautiful Nami collapse on Leku and also on Volibear. Are we gonna follow Nami up? With Q and ult. Uh, I think that's about it. Uh, I think we overstepped the hero a little bit. We should have we should have went in and committed more a lot earlier. This was like, uh, oh, should we chase? Should we chase? No, let's let them. Uh, and then, you know, the dopamine kicked in, in in their brains and they were like, oh, let's just fucking go for it, you know? But, uh, yeah, I think the they need to... They executed everything almost perfectly and uh, they just need, need to play... This is where you can sense that they're lacking confidence a bit. Like, they shit-stomped uh, Forsaken here and they could have executed more, but... Uh, yeah, they, they, were, they lack confidence and they, they kind of did it uh, in a so-and-so, like... Volibear and Camille were free kills there for sure. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, Nami hit the, the, the her ult, but the Q was missed. So because of that, uh, we we couldn't see uh, one more kill. But at least we uh, we got now two Drakes. So we are uh, two Drakes uh, two Drakes uh, closer to the soul. So uh, hopefully uh, Zitin is gonna take that and get some yeah. advantage. Uh, we have only a 3k uh, gold uh, gold lead at this moment. Uh, so. It's okay. Uh, we are scaling at nice. this point. Uh, Sebex is dealing lots of damage on the bottom, trying to kill that uh, Camille, but she just escaped. I mean, she is really a uh, mobile champion, so she can easily escape, but uh, having uh, half HP now, she won't be able to do something much, but Yomi is there to build her HP again, so she can easily push the bottom, maybe try to find that tier 1 tower. At this point, we see that uh, they are waiting for Zita and uh, Mistake having a Volibear and Yumi. Wombo combo is on the bottom. Uh, Volibear with his ult, he can easily just uh, shut down the target. Yeah. Put it in this, right, right this is a huge, a huge stopwatch coming in from Sebex here. Uh, on the bottom front, we can see Ryuzaki doing, uh, pulling off, uh, zoning Lucian and Galio and Yumi, and. We just go for the safe picks. This is what matters for us. We need to scale back into the game. We need to get those picks, and that's what I meant with uh, with uh, with Sebex. He's very confident. He knows he knows his limits. He's 190 CS hitting. He's uh, the gap between him and Galio is just rising more and more. Here we can see the recap of the game. Very beautiful yeah. execution. Ch check out this, please. Camille dropping ult. Uh, Volibear is dropping ult uh, on, on tower, shutting down it, trying to kill the Voitage, moving back. Uh, they, you know, they, yeah, the VZZ found the kill on the Camille. Yeah, the VZZ. After that, we found, 
the VCG p positioning was really good there. He was sitting at the Grump and then just uh, as soon as Lucian started going on him, he just flashed over the wall, Gale Force executed Camille and then continued uh, shrugging off Volibear. And also, I'm not sure if you, sure if you noticed, but uh, Wukong uh, Ryuzaki jumped on on uh, on, on Volibear and he ulted. And when Volibear ulted, since he was unstoppable, Yumi, f I think she fell off and uh, uh, Ryu uh, knocked her up with his ult. So Yumi was uh, disabled from jumping on anyone for like at least, I don't know, 3-4 seconds. So she was out of the fight there. We saw a perfect, uh, perfect uh, backline uh, holding from, uh, from Ryuzaki. We saw a perfect uh, stopwatch coming in from Syndra. Yeah. yeah, and... Uh, then we saw a perfect positioning from VZZ with the execution. Yeah, he was just like, uh, I'm gonna kite them, I'm not gonna get any close, I, I'm just gonna kite them and uh, smash them as soon as possible. I'm not gonna uh, get close to that Volibear and uh, get the chance to, to die, so I'm just gonna kite and try to find maybe kill there. So if we kill, it's good, if not, never mind, I'm just not gonna force uh, that. that. Uh, we see that Camille is uh, on the bottom solo, or yeah. is dropping ult on her. It was a really nice, amazing kill on the bottom. Uh, do you know what I like most about uh, Zitten? Um, when the game starts and they make maybe at least, let's say, look one at this, mistake. look at this. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. that was a potential engage here, but they they, yeah. they didn't get to. I think Forsaken read it. But yeah, what did you like about Zitten? Uh, when they make a mistake. They just like group and say like, guys, okay, we fucked up at this moment. Let's try to play passive. Let's get some uh, CSs. Like Sebis is doing that whole game on the middle. Let's get items and, and uh, after that, let's gonna try to give them a chance to think that we are gonna make a mistake. They are gonna just jump in and we are, and we are gonna kill them uh, by their mistake. Yeah, we see uh, Camille TPing in. They're gonna go for that mid prio, uh, which is kind of bad for us we need the mid prior before raking and uh, yeah we see some poke on Diago which is pretty decent uh, Varshi is moving into yeah Varshi is just looking for the ult there we're just gonna sh back off uh, let this rake fall into Forsaken's hands um, uh, we were kind of stuck between are we gonna trap here and go for a pick or are we gonna rotate mid and go for the mid prior so I think the the execution from our side was uh, uh, questionable because we were very indecisive we were I think again we see a Mumu's TP on mid lane so they wanted to rotate to help him out and on another hand we also wanted to 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 just rush Drake and go for the third Drake set up for a soul and uh, make a pick but yeah I think um, I think Forsaken gets the win in in, in that scenario yeah uh, in this position uh, when when they make like uh, one step forward and two step back, uh, yeah. it was really a smart choice. Like, okay, we're gonna give them one Drake. We have two, so we're gonna wait uh, for Soul. Uh, we're not gonna just uh, jump in, die, and lose more uh, turrets. So uh, we are equal in gold, almost equal. I mean, it's 800 gold, so it's not uh, some yeah. really big uh, deal. It was like 3.5, if I'm correct, uh, early in the, uh, in the game. So. At this point, uh, they just scaled, so uh, we are more like equal at this point, equal with kills, not with CSs, and also uh, we have uh, two turrets like they have, uh, but we have open mid, uh, they don't at this moment. Yeah, uh, item-wise, look at the look at the the daily carries. Uh, they are sitting on same items. Uh, mid lane is also sitting on a mythic Pazonia. So I think Syndra Zonia matters a lot more than Galio's because Galio is uh, a champion that throws his combo and then he's kind of useless for the next 10-15 seconds. So the Zonia won't really buy him time to get another full combo which Syndra can accomplish. And Syndra's full combo is another person dead. Yeah, um, that's true. That's true. That's 100%. Uh, dropping uh, Q, E and ult, that's one shot. That, yeah. That's for sure. Then we see uh, on top lane, Camille has Death's Dance and Divine Sunderer with the CDR boots. Orn has uh, Gauntlet with uh, Randuins. Randuins is gonna negate with uh, with the uh, old Ninja Tabby or uh, how you call them, plated steel caps now. I don't remember. Yes. Yeah. So basically, he's gonna reduce the damage input from Camille and Lucian by 
insane amounts. So he's more focused towards, and also Volibear in a way, he's more focused on uh, uh, like tanking, tanking them. He doesn't respect Galio in any way. He's not building any MR, which is uh, in a way understandable. Galio went for that utility mostly, like ability haste with the combination of. Uh, Everfrost, CC, and uh, Zonia's survivability. On the other hand, uh, everyone else is just full AD. Yep, that's true. Uh, just build some armor and HP and you're gonna be in this for sure. Uh, at this point we see that uh, they are on the middle, trying to do some uh, damage to the minions, uh, get the opportunity to take the Baron uh, as soon as someone from Z10 dies, but I think they're not gonna see that scenario. Uh, they are playing, uh, Zitten is playing now really passively, trying to get some pick, and after that, uh, they have open yeah. Baron and easily push uh, either on middle or uh, top. Uh, at this point, we, uh, as we can see, we have uh, one uh, turret lead, uh, which is really good. Yeah, you can, you can call our gameplay passive, but you can also call it uh, that we started making Forsaken play our tempo. So, yeah. What matters is like Sindre is sitting on a Rabadon in like around 500 gold, so that's a huge power spike for her. Her her combos are gonna one shot someone 100%, even Volibear, because he is okay. He started building like Negatron Cloak now, so he's orienting through uh, for, for like uh, MR now. But all in all, it's more focused on on armor with the Deadmans and Wardens, uh, so. Yeah, like, we drastically outscale with Orn. That's just like uh, a double mythic item on, on every every single champion in our team. Yeah. Uh, do, you know, do you know what they like the most about Syndra? What? The magic ring. <laughs> yeah. Sevex so, will so like, okay, I'm not gonna die this game, so I'm gonna get that assist and kills, so why not? I'm gonna buy that. I'm just gonna be much, much better, and that's it. Uh, we see Camille drop the ult, uh, trying to find the kill on VCC. VCC is dead at this point. They are going Huge uh, on the on Rio. Wow, th this was amazing from Nami. Nami dropping that perfect ult with Q. Um, just disorienting them uh, at this point. They didn't know what to do. Uh, they, they started to uh, attacking anyone they seen. Uh, <laughs> Ryu clones got some damage about at this point. Yeah. Uh, they're just gonna try maybe to steal the Drake. It's gonna be the third one. Oh, uh, this is close. beautiful. This is beautiful. Nice. This was amazing from the side of Z10. Z10 uh, done amazing job on the Drake. Get the kills. Uh, we see that Voitus died, but uh, Camille yeah, is, Camille still is really popping of off. And, and look at the Galio. He's so useless. He's legit like an old man in a store. Hey, can He's you like help me buy the groceries? That's Galio right now. Have you seen this? He was like a pink ward, yeah. but mo mobile <laughs> pink ward. You know, uh, they're like, uh, we don't have a vision. Uh, Galio, can you please stay in that bush just uh, to tell us uh, someone's yeah. coming? Yeah. As we can see now on a recap, uh, they are, <laughs> that Galio is just moving forwards and backwards all the time doing nothing at this point. Camille was amazing with that damage and healing from uh, from this Yumi. Yeah. So she's just jumping over the, the walls, but at this point she's gonna die and Galio, of course, he couldn't do anything. Nice. Like, uh, okay, the, I'm not gonna the, drop the, uh, even the flash. Nothing, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna die and that's it. Uh, I know that I was... The production kind of kind of trolled us a bit because uh, while we were show, we, we were seeing the, the, the recap of the, the fight on Drake, we totally missed out on uh, that we picked Baron, by the way. So, uh, yeah. yeah, we're sitting on a 3,000 gold lead right now. It's 11-8. We're sitting on three Drakes. Soul is contested next. Uh, and that's a Hex Soul, which is insane. If you look at the enemy team comp, they're a full link, hard engage uh, team. And the Hex Drake is gonna, like, uh, static shift animation slow everyone. 90%. So, it's really gonna hinder their performance in terms of uh, hard engaging and forcing stuff. We can also see already that Galio is falling off drastically. Um, also, Diago, Volibear. If he doesn't fight around towers, if he doesn't 
fight around, uh, you know, like objectives in that sense. He's kind of useless. Camille uh, is stuck on top lane. Are we gonna get the Nexus Tower here? At this point, we have a chance. Having Baron and having a full HP uh, team uh, on our side, uh, I mean, that's uh, really huge. So at this point, maybe they can just uh, rotate to the top, uh, get the minions, push the top, on, uh, open one more inhibitor, and just get the, uh, the game to easy mode, like baby mode. Yeah. We see, we see that uh, Ryu is invisible, or he's dropping gold. Maybe we can see now a uh, really quality fight. Uh, Galio is uh, doing his warding uh, job, sitting in one place. Uh, yeah. Now having uh, one player less, uh, we have a chance to get that uh, in inhibitor or even Nexus. We can see that the draft is uh, maturing right now on our side. We're flourishing because... Uh, Okay, we'll talk about it later. Volibear goes in solo, he gets picked off and shrugged off, just deleted. Insane Syndra stun here coming again. Wow, Lucian okay. is just getting outperformed. Look at him, he's not dealing any damage to, to Wukong. So yeah, this is this is what we meant. Zero tenacity takes the win. Nice, and this was amazing. Amazing game, amazing fight. It was like unbelievable. It, uh, that unbelievable I said only because of the Wurchko. But, but the game was really quality. Um, as you can see, uh, heavy in seven minutes, uh, we were uh, in 3.5 uh, less uh, gold lead, and after seven yeah. minutes, we, we were just in plus 5k, which is huge, huge, huge amount of the gold. So they, they get lots of the items, uh, lots of the words. Um, they, they just pop off. They were like, okay, we were losing, but at this point, guys, let's just pop off Let, let's kill them let's finish this game it's easy for us we have like 90 uh, percent chance to win this uh, uh, yesterday we lost against agarog only because of the luck we are not going to give them a chance now for a second to to win uh, one more game only based on luck so we are going to just smash them down so the game was perfect um there was some little bit accident and a little bit um, misunderstanding but uh what's the most important is z10 won which is Really, really good. So, uh, Hebi, can you tell us something? Are you proud? I mean, the mid to late game, I'm proud. I think uh, they really played around Sebex. Sebex also went for that defensive Zonia. Very, he rushed it really early because he understood the enemy team comp of, the, of them just running down someone and deleting him. I'm not really sure why Camille Leku, why he focused Nami so much because Nami isn't really that high of a priority target, so that's kind of an int from, from Forsaken's side. Uh, on another hand, uh, yeah, I think the, the execution, like, I think Sebex really carried the whole team on, on, on his back. Um, I think there were a lot of uh, mistakes and, and flaws in the early game, which we saw. And, yeah, uh, Vision. I think, Vision was uh, number yeah, one. Vision was, like, and you can see, like, around, like, minute 20. 22, 23, we just started to pick up the game and, and force Forsaken to play in our own tempo. And that's something I'm, I'm, I'm constantly uh, talking to them and talking to, to others that we're gonna, we're gonna go back to the recap. To the recap, yeah. So, so we, we can see that uh, kill on the BZZ on the bottom, um, I mean, potential kill on the bottom. So uh, at this point, Voitush died over here, BZZ yeah. moved and he died from the Bolivar and Yumi uh, Wombo Combo. So, we spoke it earlier. Um, okay, the first Herald, uh, yeah. which leads us to two kills. Uh, yeah, you're right about that. They are always focusing Nami in the team fights, especially in this uh, first, uh, when we, when we uh, fight over the Herald. Look at that. The whole Bolivar Camille jump was denied with a single item, stopwatch. And yes. it's not even bought by 650 gold, it's something he got off from Masteries. And so, it's not that, uh, from runes, it's it's not that he got 650 gold less, it's that he shut down two players that he had gold bounties on them and he got like around 1k, so that's like a 1.8k worth of item that he did, he got there. Yeah, uh, with that item, uh, they just couldn't do anything. They, yeah. they, they lost fight. At, th at that point, uh, when he uh, turned on uh, stopwatch, they lost fight. Yeah, and also here, 
I I wanted them to to show us the the Sebex five man stun, but yeah, doesn't look like they're they're gonna show it. We're gonna find it ourselves. One second. Yeah. Uh, you see that the quality difference? Yeah. Uh, till the till the minute twenty five. Yeah. Uh, the Forsaken, he was in lead all time, all, all time in lead. But after that, uh, after the second trick, we just pop up and uh, next time in, in minutes, we were just two items in lead. So they couldn't do anything. We see that uh, damage uh, from our side 23.5k on Signature in their team. Uh, the highest damage was on Camille, uh, which, yeah. uh, which was 14k, something like that. So uh, <laughs> we see our Sebex. MVP points 400, nice. With KD. Yeah. I don't insane, know, uh, insane MVP stats. KDA uh, 13, kill participation 81%, damage per minute 700, damage per minute, and uh, kill plus assist on minute 15, like 2.0, which is a really good ratio. Yeah. Like, yeah, insane. In Pro League, yes. In a solo queue, <laughs> not so much. <laughs> it's not so much. <laughs> Okay, so, so they are gonna talk uh, about the game and everything. Uh, hopefully, we're gonna see someone uh, today. I mean, we won. Maybe we can talk with someone. Maybe we should think about calling a Voitus. Yeah, we he can. He was an army. He he was he was forced uh, all game. Uh, so maybe we can talk talk with him and um, see his opinion. Uh, what he thinks about uh, f uh, forcing fights on Nami, killing Nami, and uh, just. Uh, Forgetting Just about other things, okay? Yeah. Uh, so, Seb we have, Seb is gonna we have talk. Sebex talking on their stream, which is gonna be shown here. But we can't hear uh, the questions, so you guys can just go on Pulse Games and listen to it, because we're, uh, we're not gonna cover it. We're just gonna mute it, because there's no point. I, yeah, it's gonna be on Poland language, so. Uh, Polish language, so I, I I won't be able to understand anything. Maybe maybe you do talk uh, Polish. <laughs> yeah. Let me try to find the game in uh, the 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 play on mid. Meanwhile, I think it uh, is here. Uh, what are you trying to find? If you want, uh, I can just uh, jump and try uh, to find someone who who can interview with us. Yeah, I I already want. sent them a message. Ah, so, okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. So I found the the, the clip. That's why Hebe is the boss. I found the clip. I'm gonna share it to you on Discord. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me just pop up in the Discord. One sec. Okay, I'm watching. Oh, it's bugging out. As usual, it's Twitch, so sometimes oh. uh, bug happens. What do you like the most about Syndrome? What? Oh, I remember this, okay. I'm gonna publish this real fast, I'm gonna put it on Twitter. Mm. One second. There we go. Yeah. So let's see that really quick. I'm gonna show it one second on the right screen. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna share a different. Okay, do you see it? Uh, yes, I do. I'm okay, seeing here. So I'm gonna share it to stream as well. So. So yeah. Okay, I'm not what they like the most. Look at the Sebex positioning. The He's constantly <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, moving. Okay, I'm not trying, to, uh, trying, trying to trying to go find the So now they see that Sebex doesn't have his CC up. So, mm -hmm. so they're gonna the force an engage. I'm gonna you see? That. And again yes. it's on Ami, you see? And then they jump on BZZ. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, Look at the stun now. Huge. Five man nice. stun. Okay. This was amazing. Like, uh... <laughs> you it, said it's, it on the clip it's as well. Same... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is amazing. <laughs> Look, this is is dead at this point. They are going to they, yeah. they're, they're not gonna be mobile at all. They're gonna just sit uh, on back uh, in the back and that's it. Yeah. So we got info that uh, was uh, we got info that Voitush is gonna be coming on our oh nice for an interview. Mm -hmm. Until then, uh, yeah. Right now the standings are, I think. Let me check. Right now Ago is sitting like probably 14-0. We'll see. Um, yeah, they're playing against Eska. Who knows? Maybe Eska wins. Mm -hmm. We are, we are, uh, both us uh, and the Illumina. I What's have up? to ask you something uh, from the ban uh, ban phase. Uh, I had something that bothers me all time long uh, through the whole game. Uh, the first pick uh, from team for second was Lucian, mm -hmm. which was I think not so so much smart. I mean, uh, they could just first pick Yumi. Let's be I mean, uh, yeah. dropping that uh, pick on Yumi, uh, our team could get it, and that's it. They they lost like uh, one of the most powerful uh, supports in the game. Uh, we see the pick on the Lucian. Maybe they wanted to play Lucian Nami. Yeah, I think instead of uh, Lucian Yumi. I think someone got scared of us picking Lucian Nami, and yeah. that's why they wanted to secure Lucian. Maybe go for the swap like Lucian mid, Lucian AD carry. But I think midway they got a bit confused with the draft. Uh, yeah, I mean the draft was pretty much decent, but it's like a standard. Uh, master Grandmaster uh, solo picks, but it wasn't like um, some fully team composition. Like maybe having Amomo and Camille in the same game, maybe that would be better than this combo. Uh, and instead of the uh, Yumi, of course, uh, having a Nami with Lucian, with Electrocute and everything, so for easy kill on the bot. But um, I think the, the team for a second should next time more talk with their uh, manager or any or on anyone. Coach I mean, or... from what I just saw, uh, Forsaken Mystiques, the support is also their coach. So, yeah, oh. in, in a way, I think like when you have such a setup, it's really hard to differentiate like what's good and what's not. But I'm not the one to judge. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, the game, the game was good, and that's it. We are not gonna uh, point finger on anyone uh, from Team Forsaken, but they have to practice. They, yeah, they, they really do. Uh, Zitin just show uh, how uh, mature they are. Uh, oh, we are the second uh, place on the leaderboard at this point, which is really yeah. good. Right now, we are sharing our spot with Illuminar. And yep. I think, let me just check real fast. Um, zero tenacity with Illuminar. Yeah, we won versus Illuminar last time. So if we win again in the, we are playing versus Illuminar, I think week, week eight. No, it's KNF and Eska. Week nine, we play versus Devils one and Illuminar. So the last match, uh, of the last week of July, we will play versus Illuminar, and if we win, we will 100% secure second spot. Of course, if we stay at 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 this core. Um, I think we will. I mean, I mean, we uh, have to play versus Aska, which is kind of difficult for us. We also have to play versus 
uh, K and F. They've showed that they can they can fight back. That they showed promise. And uh, then we have to fight Devils one. Like this split is a lot harder than last split in my opinion. Uh, last split like Aska, uh, Iron Wolves were the the most like you know promising teams next to Ago and us. And the Illuminar really had a problem with uh, with their their roster. Uh, so they kind of even disbanded like mid split. They just played it through. So yeah. yeah. Um, uh, have you watched the game against uh, Eska against uh, Zita? Have you I'm watched not, that game? I'm not sure. Uh, well, uh, I was casting that uh, game. Uh, I'm not. So, I'm not so sure with who. Maybe it was uh, a Shine or someone. Uh, at this point, uh, I can't remember. But we smashed them. Yeah. Uh, literally, it was Tomp. I, I mean, I, I don't want to offend anyone. Or oh, hello, Voitus. Hello, Voitus. One second. We just need to set up this. Whatever okay. we're doing. We are Do not gonna bother you. Uh, first, we, we want to congrats yeah, on congrats. Uh, winning. Uh, the game was amazing, but we have some really short questions uh, for you, if that sure. suits you. Uh, as soon as we deal with the technical issues at this moment, but the Heb is uh, working hard to fix that. So yeah. Hopefully, in the next five seconds. Yeah, you can ask. You can ask. Ah, do, okay. Do you have? Uh, uh, okay, you did activate your one second. So have you talked about uh, picks and bans? Uh, we said that uh, they picked Lucian as a first pick. Yeah. Uh, uh, so what you think about that? Maybe they didn't want to let you to pick that Lucian Ami Bombo combo. So they uh, first picked uh, Lucian, but after that, uh, when you picked the Nami uh, as soon as you as you could, uh, they just. Uh, couldn't uh, find any other support that can uh, easy bench with the Lucian, so uh, because of that they picked uh, Yumi. I mean, first of all, we were like, uh, uh, we knew that they can do like Lucian first pick, but we we also knew that uh, taking the away Nami and like pairing it with a strong AD can like uh, make Lucian useless online and later on as well, because he's a lane bully and spiking champ on one two items so we were aware of that that uh, they can just take away lucian from us but we had like a couple of adcs that, that can work well with nami against lucian yep. yeah yeah uh, <laughs> and the second so later on uh, heavy can ask you anything uh, you seen that they bully you hard they, they were uh, ganking you all the time. They were just trying to find you in the in the fight. They were not uh, focusing anyone else but you. Uh, you were like uh, most wanted uh, guy in their team. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we didn't expect that they gonna gank uh, gank us only, especially when he started buffing top. So yeah, it was kind of not uh, expected by by us. Yeah, we shouldn't uh, lacking of uh, vision because you knew he was on blue. Uh, Momo should drop the, the the war there. You know the whole rotation of Oliver, but he just moved back and sit on the bottom for like next five minutes, as I think. And in the next five minutes, he made uh, three ganks and uh, find one kill on you. And after that, they found on uh, VZZ and you on the bottom. Yeah. Uh, early game wasn't uh, one of the best from, from us, for sure. What do you think, Whitesh? Why did they focus you so much? Do, do, do you think they just like sushi, or do you think they just like you? I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe they are just fanboys. I don't know. No, I, I mean, I guess the this was their game plan. Like, uh, we did not expect any to work out for them. So well played from for them, right? Yeah. yeah. What do yeah, you think? Even... Yeah. Go, go, Jeff. Uh, they are forcing like a uh, kill on you, but we seen that uh, Fabian Stan uh, from uh, Sebex, which was I'm gonna say for fifth time, amazing Fabian Stan on on yeah, middle. <laughs> played that game very well. Oh, yeah, the, combo, combo Nami ult uh, Sebex with his stuns, it was really good. Thanks. What do you think, uh, Voitus? Why didn't you pull the Peter Parker move? Oh. I mean, if there was no Lucian and Nami in game, then like the there can be like a Spider-Man game. But uh, yeah, I think Nami Lucian is uh, is first. 
Let's wait for now. Let's see that Spider-Man move against maybe Aguro. <laughs> I really want to see that. They won because of the luck, so let's see how they're going to win now against Peter Parker. <laughs> yeah. Do you think we will ever see Peter Parker play? Yeah, I think so. It's a strong pick right now. And uh, yeah, I mean, so far, like... Uh, Teams are not uh, respecting uh, Nami Lucian in the, in the draft, and we are kind of abusing that. I mean, it was just this week, but overall, yeah. I think it's very strong, and we 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 should like prioritize always. Yeah. How comfortable okay. are you with uh, with Nahu's drafting? I mean, it depends uh, what kind of day it is, but for you or yeah. for, for him? <laughs> for for the team. I would say. I, I mean, I think like we have really good drafts so far compared to like, for example, EBL where we played like uh, three aggro lanes and uh, no scaling on anything. True, so, true. So now you, it, you would say Nahu kind of matured a bit as a coach, huh? I guess maybe Savex convinced him to play three scaling lanes and... Or maybe it's multi Crocs fault. What do you think? Shiroga. Maybe it, uh, it's just Crocs. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> But anyhow, guys, uh, the game was amazing. Uh, your practice every day, you 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 grow every day on this League of Legends scene. Uh, scene. So uh, hopefully we're gonna see you in the first place. Uh, at this moment, is Agro, but uh, everything can change. Like you change from minus 3.5k uh, gold to uh, 5k gold lead. I mean, everything can change on the leaderboard. So hopefully we're gonna see you as on the first place. Now it's fight for second play with Illuminar, which will be decided most likely uh, yeah. in game against them. So that's what we aim for. Yeah. So in front of us, we have uh, next week match versus Eska and a match versus uh, Comil and friends. What's your expectations there? That's way chiller than this week, because we had Forsaken, which was on streak. They beat like Ihagia. So, and like Goskila or some shit, I don't remember. Yeah. And, uh, and yeah. Agoro, and now we gonna have like uh, easier matches for sure. He just Next called so... Goskila shit, by the way. No, and other shit. Like, <laughs> like, I didn't, I didn't mean that, like, I don't remember the the teams. I'm sorry. I didn't mean uh, to. Open We're them kidding, up. don't worry. They're not watching the stream. <laughs> We're just trolling. Yeah. <laughs> so, week nine. After week eight, after next week, so two weeks from now, we're playing versus Devils One and uh, and uh, Ihage. We won versus Ihage last time, right? Yeah, we did, and I think we like uh, need to have good preparation for. I think it's gonna be actually on new patch, but yeah, we have like two more weeks to. What do you think prepare. about the new patch? Uh, Leandre is changed, right? We saw Leandre demonic, play. yeah, stacking Master Yi. Uh, Mastery doesn't matter. What's changed actually? I don't. Severe uh, rework. That's big. I think. I mean, Severe we'll see. But even? I think still she she gets bullied by mo by the AD system meta. But she might have a place to to be played. What do you think uh, about that? Uh, maybe maybe we're gonna see some uh, Severe in the uh, future. Yeah, uh, I would it like. Could be like, but for sure not blind or or anything. I think it can be good jump, but not into like Kalista Draven or Lucian. Mm -hmm. So wait, um, the Severe, her Q is gonna scale with crit now? What? Uh, yeah, they like lowered her uh, AD ratio, but she's AD. taking crit now. Yeah, so basically you won't go lethality now, I guess, because yeah, you, you need to go crit. And, and they also put that like missile speed adjustment, like. It goes yeah. outwards faster and goes back really slower, so it's yeah a bit slower. It's good for and kiting they... in a way, right? Mm -hmm. It it and it also sc scales the cast time with the attack speed and it's so. Yeah. The W so... buff duration change from three to four seconds. Uh, from three autos to four seconds, I yeah. think that that's big. Like you can auto out more in four seconds than three autos, right? Yeah. And like uh, with R now, it also reduces the the cooldown whenever you hit a spell or something when you press R so you can like but, have perma W. What do you fights. think? Are you gonna play the the new support 
that uh, gives XP. Is it, is it support, Nila? Right. I think you can play her as yes. a support as well. She's jungle, but you can play as a support as well. I think. Wait, she's jungle or AD. I don't know. I don't know, man. <laughs> we'll see. I mean, I. And maybe it's not she's even AD. Light. Maybe I think you're yeah. right. Yeah, she could be AD, but. Uh, so are we'll you gonna see. play her? No, I mean, I think this champ will be disabled until like uh, EU Masters or playoffs. You, I, <laughs> I, I would think that it's on EU Masters or or like playoffs. But yeah, before that, they won't like enable her. They always wait a lot. Like Viego was uh, disabled for half a year, for example, or like other champs as well. So yeah. So do you think? Um, do you think? You're gonna put in a zillion game anytime soon? I mean, I would rather ask Samex about it. Uh, <laughs> true, true. Well, the zillion yeah. is good. Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe. It's pretty good. Maybe when we secured like second place and there's game for nothing, you know? Yeah. I didn't mean I didn't mean we trading on everything, but we can also try some other things, right? To hide uh, tactics for playoffs. Yeah, yeah, I know a guy who gets to master. Uh, uh, tier with uh, Zealand. I, I know. Yeah, really good player. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, so Wojtosz, uh, thank you a lot for everything. The game was uh, awesome. We are going to leave you to rest and uh, get some yeah. food or something. Uh, thank so you. So hopefully we're going to see you winning again next week. Uh, I hope so. And yeah. uh, thank we you hope again so too. for coming. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Well, we're going to close off our cast there uh Chuffy, are you gonna stream now uh i'm gonna stream in next 30 minutes something like that because i have to set up everything yeah uh, because of the notifications and everything that goes on so i'm gonna fix that uh, first and after that i'm gonna start. okay so anyways guys uh you can ch uh, check out and find Chuffy on trovo live Chuffy. And uh, yeah, uh, we will be ending the stream here. Thank you guys for watching. Expect a lot of new stuff soon, new news, and uh, yeah. yeah. We have something in mind, but we are gonna keep that as a secret. So uh, try, uh, follow uh, Instagram and Twitter, uh, Zero Tenacity, and you will find everything out there. Yeah. Uh, so guys, so you thank have. Thank you for watching us and goodbye. Yeah. Bye, bye, guys. Oh, but we got sticks for real. We looking out for the opposition. We don't do this for mass appeal. Mm, don't make me blast still. I put on work, no fly to mirror. They want me to lose, but I can't.